What is up killers, Kev here and today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda Dunno website this week. This is going to be episode 559 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. The Daedric Museum, coming in at 256.7 kilobytes of a download. My dark home is your dark home. This mod is going to be a brilliant one indeed. I'm not too sure if it's a working progress or I'm missing something very weird, conclusive to the end of these particular clips. If not, I'll tell you at the end of this particular clip too. This home is going to be located near White Drum. The entrance is going to be attached to Dragon's Reach. Very noticeable indeed. But once upon going into this particular player home, you will need to find set keys to get in and to go past certain doors. I will show a few clips within this particular video but overall they're very easy to find there's a few riddles once upon going in there to progress through this particular museum and then once upon getting those keys will allow you to go into different rooms around it personally I think this is a very cool idea the only gripe I had which was a little bit frustrating maybe it might have been me to a little bit of a sort of person that cannot wait impatient is the word i'm using here uh, right near the end it basically says that one of the followers that was or shall i say npcs not followers that was in this particular museum is waiting for the sort of doors at the end of one of these rooms to open up and be an oblivion gate to go into if you are up for it now I was up for it, I was ready to go, I'd love to explore that as well, but it wasn't there, I'm not too sure if it was bugging or glitching for me, I really wanted to do that, so if the mod author is watching this particular video, or you guys do feel the same but thus upon downloading this one, trying it out yourself, let me know down in the comment section below what the hell is going on with this mod, because I'd love to dive into another Oblivion Gate custom made alongside this particular player home. The Dragon's Fury Volume 2 or Version 2 Animated Main Menu Replacer coming at 2.2 megabytes of a download. Now guys, we did actually cover version one of this animated menu and it's kind of like a mini series to do with an epic fight scene, if not some brilliant screenshots with some absolutely gorgeous effect. This mod replaces the menu background and audio with a dragon attack scene and some intense battle music. The menu is gonna be paired with a beautiful beautiful falling ash particle animation scattered above it to look absolutely epic. For obviously copyright reasons, I will not be playing the intense battle music in the background, but let me tell you, it is freaking awesome and I love these little collections. Many more of these particular ones to come as there is four different versions on the site this week. Strength in numbers, work in progress. This one is coming in at 46.3 kilobytes of a download. This is going to be a requested mod and personally I think it's very nice indeed and a lot of people should be snatching this particular mod up hopefully if it's going to be fully completed too. This mod adds more enemies to set locations. The locations that have been done are are such things as the Ember Shard Mine, which have been completely done. This is what I'm going through now, which have been a few enemies scattered through, not completely millions of enemies, but just a few here and there, just a few touch-ups. Also, as well, is gonna be the Cracked Tusk Keep, and upon there is gonna be a few other different ones, such as some crypts, some lookouts, uh, some other different sort of keeps and hollows, a few different mines too. But if you want a full synopsis and a full description, as always, I encourage you to go down in the description Click those links and have a little look for yourself. Locations that will be coming up within the update are a few, four to follow and hopefully many more too. A nice new immersive NPC overhaul to those sort of other places that are neglected within big overhaul NPC mods on the site. Gothic 3 Weapons Pack coming in at 71.8 megabytes of a download. This is going to be a port from the NexusMods.com and this mod adds four new swords, three being one-handers and one being a two-hander. Also, with this particular pack, you do get two staves. All can be found within a new location within this particular mod called the Smuggler's Den, north from Windhelm. The weapon stats are going to be fully listed and run down on the Bethesda Dunno website if you do want to check out all of the stats. If not, you might be able to get a few tweaks or sort of a, an idea of what they would be via looking at this particular clip on screen. Now, the aesthetics of these particular blades, staves, just look 
absolutely sensational. I love these. Again, such an interesting new mod. Not only do you get a collection of weapons, which we all know have been said and done, but I do love it when they give you sort of that little extra, and that in this case is going to be a new location to grab them all. Really worth checking this one out this particular week. I absolutely love this particular pack. As I said before, nice little treasure to pick up via going through an abandoned little smuggler's den. Overpowered weapon kit coming at 3.7 kilobytes of a download. This overpowered weapon kit has three weapons that all do 90 damage. There is a bow, sword, and a great sword in a chest that is going to be located within the Palace of Kings in Windhelm, right in front of the long table. When you soon as you walk through the doors, you will not receive a bounty when taking these items from the chest. They're completely free, and the base damage of the arrows is going to be 50. As you can tell within this particular video, it is pretty much one or two shotting the guards within the hold. Now, personally, my character is extremely low level. I think my character on the PlayStation 4 is probably kicking around level 15, doesn't have any skills within the archery perk. So as you can tell, if you're a master archer with this particular bow, and those arrows with a little bit more of a higher level and all of the other different perks surrounding it, you are probably gonna be one-shotting absolutely everything. This is a nice new cheat collection to accompany you on your adventure within the PlayStation 4 platform. Again, very nice to see and a nice pickup and easy and accessible plug and play mod. So guys, that's the end of this particular episode. This has been episode 559 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy it, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me an awful lot. If you're new around there too, make sure to click that subscribe button. Right next as well, apparently if you hit that little bell icon, you somehow shape way or form should get a notification for every single time I post a video like this to the channel. But guys, until the next one, this has been Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.